Hi, I'm Leanne from Bat Lady Herbals, and welcome to my video. So, my husband and I have been traveling to visit some family recently, and we decided that we would stop in a part of Florida we don't usually get around to. So today I wanted to introduce you to the Payne's Prairie, just outside of McNobie, Florida. It's in, uh, I believe it's north central portion of Florida, and it's right off I-75. So if you're coming through this part of Florida, it's a nice place to stop. Nice big uh, preserve with lots of trails. Since this is a part of Florida we're not really all that familiar with, I'm expecting to run into a lot of plants that I don't know. But this is still one of the plants that I love the most when I see it on hiking trails. Especially this time of year, because this is beautyberry. And if you've been following me for any time, you know that you can crush the leaves and rub them on your skin and help to uh, scare away all those mosquitoes. Just wanted to show you that there's lots of clear signs and we're still on a paved trail. But we're going for the easy trail today since we are still traveling. There's all kinds of beautiful trees. So far we've identified some pines and sweet gums, but we're also not that far in. I'm hoping, since I know it's the season for Beautyberry to be blooming, that I'll be able to show you some blooms of that a little far down the trail. Hopefully we'll run into some. Like I said, we're doing the, the easy trail today, but we are headed towards the observation tower so we can get a good look at this beautiful prairie when it opens up. So we passed the visitor's center, which is beautiful, and if you ever come this way, you should get a chance to go in. And we are now at the tower, and I think we're going to climb it up and see if we can get a good look at the prairie before the storm rolls in. Well, we reached the top of the tower just in time. Don't know if you can hear the little bit of rain starting. But man, check out this view. We're at least gonna sit here for a little bit, see if the storm subsides. Hopefully we'll be able to continue. So we raided out the storm a little bit. At least it doesn't look like it's too bad. And now we're back down from the tower and wandering through one of the trails. Right in the way of some saw palmetto? Saw palmetto. And look at this gorgeous resurrection fern on this tree. We get to walk under this. As we're pa walking past all this uh, palmetto, also looking and seeing a couple common vines. You might be familiar with a couple of them, but we have Virginia creeper, which is mostly harmless. Some people are allergic, and, and those people might give them a rash. However, right next to it, Leaves of three, leave them be. It's poison ivy. And that one, you need to be real careful with. They're not really good with mushroom identification. I am fascinated by them. And one of these days, I'm going to learn a little bit more about them. And this trail has so many, so many kinds of mushrooms. And right on top of these little ones, we have muscadine, which is a Florida native grape. And here we go. We have another Calicarpa, or beautyberry. This one, you can see the blooms. Now, most people can identify this with the berries, but I think the blooms are just gorgeous. Here's some more of those really interesting mushrooms. One of these days, I have to take the time to really learn my mushrooms. If anyone has any ideas what they are, feel free to shoot them down in the comments. And here we come to a tree, not sure what kind, and it has got so many mushrooms. 
so many different kinds of mushrooms growing up and down its entire length. This is a great place if you were a mushroom hunter. Especially this time of year. You can see little peaks of the prairie on the other side of these trees. But the rain's starting to get heavier. And we are under a canopy right now, so we're not going to be venturing out that way today. Hopefully we'll get to come out on a bit of a drier day and show you some of the prairie. But, in the meantime, staying here under the trees <laughs> seems like it's going to be a good idea. For any of you that might not be familiar with Florida, Here's a lesson. Don't like the weather. Wait 10 minutes. It's a common saying around here. And oh boy, during the summer, is it true. When we got here, it looked like the rain was going to be hours away. Didn't realize we'd be hiking through it. So always bring rain gear when you're hiking in Florida. A lot of trees out here. Most of them are fairly familiar. Lots of sweet gum. Look at this gorgeous pine. Just keeps going on for quite a ways. We've wandered back to the visitor center now and look what we found. This species of Ganoderma, which most people know of as reishi. Reishi is a medicinal mushroom. It tastes absolutely horrible, but it's great for so many things. I will uh, link a little write-up I did for you about it so that you'll be able to find it and read up on what it does. Such a good little mushroom. On the drive in to the prairie, we saw a lot of huge thistle, but now we're running into a lot of little thistle. This thistle is on its first year of life, where it's in the rosette stage. This time next year, it'll have shot up and flowered. If you, uh, if you have the, the mind to, these can be some, some good food. The roots are edible, leaves are edible, flowers are edible. Just got to make sure to uh, cut off all those thorny bits, the spines on the, th the leaves and stalks. As I halfway expected, in the prairie we have lots of fleabane. And then you can find some of our state flower, Coreopsis, or tick seed. We have several species here. And they are all gorgeous. We do have one species of Coreopsis that has pink flowers, but most of them are yellow flowers. And of course, the fleabane is white. Sometimes you can find pink or lavender ones. Now here's one mushroom that I'm at least familiar with, and that is commonly known as earth star, barometer earth star. Latin is Asteraeus morgani. Now it's quite wet right now, so you can't really see how pretty it gets. This is a nice little mushroom. Florida's home to several species of medicinal plants, it's an understatement, as well as fungi and lichens. And here's one that looks a little bit different down here than it does up north, and that's Usnea. Now, one of the common names for this plant, for this lichen, is old man's beard. Except north, it grows about like what Spanish moss does down here, where it has 
lots of hanging, hanging bits. It looks like a beard. But here, it masquerades amongst the smaller lichen. The way you can tell that it's usnea, or at least the way I use, as you see as I'm pulling it apart, it has a little bit of a stretch to it. It has an elastic core. And that elastic core tells you that this is indeed usnea. It's an amazing antibiotic, antifungal. It's just a great medicinal plant. Well, like it. So once again, I'm Leanne from Bat Lady Herbals. Thank you for joining me on this short and somewhat soggy walk through a small part of Payne's Prairie today. If you didn't know, Payne's Prairie is famous for having the biggest population of wild horses in Florida and probably the only population of wild horses in Florida. So if you're a horse fan, this is a great place to come and look. And while we were stuck up on that uh, outlook waiting for the rain, we did see some. They were a little far away to get an, any decent video or pictures of, but they were there and they were gorgeous. Also, Payne's Prairie is a wet grassland, so just keep in mind that as you're hiking through it, exploring it, you might end up in some wet spots, so just be careful about that. But this is where I'm going to leave you today. Have a wonderful day. Also, don't forget that if you enjoyed this video, you should like it, subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell to be notified of when I post more videos. Feel free to check out my blog where there's some information on some of these plants that we discovered today and a little bit more detail. Also, feel free to shop my Teespring where I have all kinds of designs to help promote hiking and herbalism in Central Florida. Also, if you really enjoy what I do and want to support the channel, you can find me on Patreon and become a pa patron. But before it starts coming down any harder, I am going to say have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you next time.